I'll start by asking, of course, this film was top of the US box office for three weeks. You must have both been walking around with a bit of a, bit of a strut for a while. I was walking around naked, if you want to know, just to be honest he with did you. Not, he didn't want to know. That's what you do that's, when you are number not, one for three weeks no, in a row. that's not what I did. Who needs clothes but when you're number one? That's not what I did. I don't think any of the actors Maybe it's not what you did. That's what we did. No, let the people know. No, let I'm tired of hiding. Tell them. I had clothes Tell on. Tell them, Tim. I had clothes on. It was a good time. It was amazing to be number one for three weeks in a row. But was it quite a challenge for you to remain faithful to the kind of the comedy in this film and yet maintain that quite exhilarating kind of action premise all the while? Well, that's what we're going for. So, um, you know, you know, luckily, I think we had some type of success with that. I think when you when you think about comedies, you also want to keep the. Um, what do you want to say? The stakes high, and you want to, and you want to make sure that they're up against um, the great good foes and this and that. So I think um, we kind of wanted to make sure it was funny at the same time, but uh, give you also because it's an action comedy, give you the action. I mean, the casting is spot on, even physically. I mean, Ice Cube just has this general kind of mean look to his demeanor, and Kevin Hart always looks a bit surprised. <laughs> exactly. And it just it, it, it instantly suits their kind of personalities. Absolutely. Uh, we, I, yeah. we knew we knew if we could get these guys together that. Um, it would kind of uh, take care of itself. I mean, these guys are, they, they, they can totally play that opposite thing on screen that just made it, uh, made it magic to me. And you've, you've directed them both before at different points in your, it must yeah. be, in your career. It must be quite fun to bring them together. It was well. great. It was great. And then, and then with having Will a part of it, we just uh, kind of created this, this family structure with the, with the film. And, and that's what made it, I, I think that's what you see on screen is that we had so much fun um, you know, uh, off screen that I think it kind of translated to what, uh, what we did on screen. And given uh, Kevin's kind of comedic background, was there any room for him to, to improvise on set? Did you let him have that freedom at all? I think you have to. With Kevin, you know, he comes from the stand-up comedy background, and he's a great improviser. We had a really, really good script. We worked very, very hard on the script, so there was a good material there. Kevin definitely used that kind of as a basis, and then he would expand upon it. And Tim would let him run, and so we would have takes where we didn't know what Kevin was going to do. We just knew he was going to bring something to it. And sometimes he would catch all of us off guard with some of his improvisations, and Tim's laughing, I'm laughing, the crew is laughing, everybody but Ice Cube. Ice Cube would not break. He would always be in character. Kevin could not break Cube. And, and Tim, I read that you've got a twin sister. Yes, it, yes. Does that mean, were you able to relate to Ice Cube's character at all and how he, can, you know, the, that whole protective you know what? nature? You know what, I did. I, I think when, when I was uh, just getting into to making this movie, that's one of the things that I kind of drew, drew upon. You know, um, she's married and she has a, she has a great husband, but... When she, when you first hear that she's either dating or engaged, you kind of do put up a little bit of a you know your face gets a little bit straight like who is this guy? He's about to take care of my sister. Who is he? What does he do? And um and I, and I think we all I think that's what makes the film kind of accessible to everybody that whether it's a a, a mo, you know a father a, a mother a, a sister brother whatever it is well, you know when you when a, from a guy's standpoint when you find that one that you maybe want to marry you uh you have to start uh, being sure that you kind of get the a quote unquote permission from uh, that person. And it seems to be a strong time at the moment for African Americans in Hollywood. And I was wondering if, uh, was it even more encouraging for you on this project that race and ethnicity doesn't come into the story at all and it's just these roles could be played by anyone? That was definitely by design, you know? And uh, I happen to know a couple of African Americans in Hollywood. So when I talked to them at the meeting that they have, they said that this is a new time and a new day. And what happens is, in, in all seriousness, you are now seeing audiences being more receptive, and it doesn't matter what the race of the, the leads happen to be. This is a movie that happens to have two African-American leads, but it's, like you said, it's not a movie about it. There's nothing that's culturally or ethnically specific about this particular movie. It's a universal theme. Like Tim said, who hasn't had the situation where you're trying to impress somebody's family? You know, it's, it's, it's your girlfriend, and it's the the dad, the mom, the uncle, whatever it is, we've all been in that situation. It doesn't matter whether you're white, black, brown, or in between. So for this, it was great that audiences, all audiences of all races, came out to support the film. That's why I know it's going to do well in the UK. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's done well enough already that a sequel's been confirmed. Is that something that you're both sort of involved in or hoping to be involved in? Yes, we're on. I'm in. We're in, we're in. We're, we're excited about it. We have a... Uh, a great script coming along, and um, the, our boys are back, uh, Ice Cube and, and Kevin, and uh, we're just ready to get started. So what can we expect from, from part two? Craziness. We're going to blow up more stuff. 
Will said we can bring in spaceships. I did not say and, that. And do a lot of uh, the shooting on water. I with, definitely did not say that. With creatures from underneath the sea. None of that is true. It's going to be awesome. It is going to no, be No, that's awesome. what you said we could do. But no. Nope. Bigger we, and better. Yeah, bigger and better with intergalactic. No aliens. Taking place on Earth. With ships and yeah. like battleships and submarines. We'll talk about it. Uh, and we'll just find out. I, I briefly spoke to Ice Cube about the Straight Out Compton film, the NWA kind of biopic. So it's yeah, uh, that's, is that a project you'll be involved in as well? I will. Yes, I'm helping to move that along. Obviously, that's something that Cube is going to be very, very involved in, uh, along with Dre. I've talked to the guys; they're excited about it. Uh, F. Gary Gray is directing it, so I'm just going to lend a hand wherever I can. But you know, that's an iconic group, an iconic project, and uh, I think it's going to do really well. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank, thank you, you, my friend. You. Cheers.